Hi, everybody. Welcome. Glad to see everybody tonight. Uh, it says Karen Charvat. Um, I'm on Karen's StreamYard account. Um, I've got one too, but it was acting up a little while ago. So we're practicing some teamwork and I'm on um, using Karen's StreamYard account, but this is Shannon Bailey. I'm GFWC Leadership Chairman, and uh, it's my turn to share with you on Teach It Tuesday. So um, this is, I'm using StreamYard here that we went over with y'all about a month or so ago. You can always go back and look on the uh, forum where we are right now, and all of the videos that we do where we're teaching things and explaining things are always saved. So you can go back and look about how we talked about StreamYard. Uh, StreamYard's got some really cool features. It allows you to have more than one person um, on, uh, which is different from Facebook Live. Um, and it also is a pretty easy way to share your screen and do uh, slideshows, Google, Google Slides, or like I'm going to do today, I'm going to go online with you and show you how to get into the GFWC member portal. So StreamYard is a really easy way to do that. I've done this presentation for a few states that invited me to do it. Um, one of them, I went live on Zoom, which is great. And then um, that was GFWC Oregon. Hi, ladies, my West Coast sisters. And then I just did GFWC Illinois Leads and did this presentation. And because I couldn't be there, I recorded it on Zoom. Um, so I was able to share my screen and show all the tabs there. So just telling y'all, that's a couple different ways that you can that you can do it. So we're going with StreamYard now. Karen is online with me. Uh, my buddy Becky might be online with me too. So they're going to help you with comments. And I think a lot of y'all are getting notifications that we're live. And remember, if you get on a little bit late and we've already, um, we've already gotten started, you can go back and watch the whole thing once it's recorded. So I'm here tonight to show you how to get in and navigate your way around the GFWC member portal. There's a ton of information in the portal. It's really uh, something that you want to be comfortable with and want to know where to find all of the information. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Looks like I've got a few people watching with me. Um, all right. So I'm going to share my screen now, which is a cool thing that StreamYard allows you to do. So I'm going to share my screen. So I'm going to go into just a regular tab on Google. I'm going to let you see the whole thing. So I'm not signed on here, which is going to allow me to just show you where to start from the GFWC website. So the cool thing about websites now is you don't have to worry too much about knowing exactly um, the right address for a website. You can type in the part that you know, and then a bunch of options will come up for you. So here's the GFWC website that I'm clicking on. And the member login is up here on the right. You see where I am um, showing my cursor going around in a circle here on the upper right. That is member login. That's going to be your access to the member portal. So I am going to click into that. If you have created an account on the GFWC member portal, this is where you're going to log in your email address and your password, and then it'll have you log in. If the member portal is new to you and you have not created a login yet, then you're going to click down, see down here underneath login, see where I am scrolling around, center, bottom, you're going to click sign up. It's going to ask you to put your email address in twice to make sure you don't uh, type it wrong. And then it's going to ask you to create a password. And here's all the criteria for an acceptable password. And then you'll click sign up after you've done your email and created a password. And it's going to, uh, you'll get a notification. You get a confirmation that you have created a login and then you'll get a notification. And I don't remember because it's been a while for me. If you um, get a notification right then saying you're all set, but it'll take about 24 hours for you to be able to uh, get in and go live, or if there's a notification on your screen that tells you that. But once you've created the um, the login, you have do have to give it um, do have to give it a day up to a day to be able to use the login. So that's that. That's where you're going to start if you're starting from scratch. All right. Now I am going to show you. Oh, I, yay, I got people on here. Hi, everybody. Good to see y'all. I'm clicking back where I can actually see some comments now. All right. So I'm going to share my screen again and I'm going to show you where I'm actually logged in. So I'm going to share. 
what you're seeing right now is the back end of what it looks like when you're doing StreamYard. See, so I've got everybody's comments coming through here and I've got my own screen. So it could be an infinity screen. We could just go on and on and on, same screen. Okay, so now I'm, this is my Google Chrome where I'm logged in. So when I click on GFWC now, and I click member login, again, remember we're up at the top right where I'm doing my cursor. I'm gonna click member login. And it's gonna remember me, see where I'm logged in. So it's gonna have my email address and password already because I'm signed into Chrome or that's where you can log in again. All right, so I'm logged in. I'm in the Bember portal now. So, and I know it's me because there's my face. So uh, you can put a photo if you want, you don't have to. This was from our state uh, fall board and I was actually like wearing makeup and jewelry and all the stuff. So I thought it was kind of a cute photo. So I uploaded my photo. You don't have to. Um, and it's going to say what your home club is and where you're from because you put that information in um, when you sign up. It's got your personal information there in case you forget your phone number or your address. You can go there and look. So this is the portal. Everything that uh, you need, all G all things GFWC. The first thing that you are going to want to be concerned about right now is registering for GFWC convention in August in Hotlanta. So that's events. So see, I'm up here at the top. I'm going to browse events. And the first thing that comes up is 2021 GFWC annual convention. So I'm clicking on that. I'm already registered for convention. So um, it knows that because I'm logged in and that's why it's not asking me to sign up. It's asking me over here on the right whether or not I want to add a guest. So my husband is not invited to attend GFWC convention with me. So I will be guestless. Um, here's all the information. Here's uh, what we do here. Here's the information about convention. If you want to be able to scroll through and see that. So there's the event. So that this is where you would uh, start if you want to register for convention. So there's all the info there. Then once you're registered, you can go into my events. And this is going to be a little bit of everything. This will show some of my events from board meetings, that kind of thing, orientation. Um, this is also where you register for the great webinars that GFWC has been putting on. So if you look at my event registrations, once you sign up for the webinars, that would uh, that would be there too. And if you go into browse events and there are webinars coming up, which I'm sure another set will be coming soon, then you'd see that in browse events as well. So that's events. Here's Marketplace. Marketplace is where you can order things directly from GFWC. Here are some uh, pins from past uh, conventions. But here's you know, member recognition pins, the flags, uh, some of the print collateral and brochures, your business cards, uh, some of the apparel, that kind of thing. Anything that you might be buying from GFWC, here's the Marketplace. Here's where you can make uh, donations if you want and then view your view your giving history. Okay. So again, events, really important for you to uh, register for convention, marketplace donations. All right. But where's all the where's all the stuff? Where's all the meat? You may be asking that is in your digital library. So I'm going to go up here on the right. See my face. That's why it's nice to upload a face. If you have not uploaded a photo. It's just going to be a gray head shape and that's no fun for everybody. So for anybody. So go ahead and do your do your face. So here's my profile. I could click back on. Here's your password and username if you need to change it. But my digital library is where you're going to go to basically anything to find anything that you would want to download. All right. So everything is in resources. It's all in one folder, the resources folder. And if you're scrolling, if you see here, the default, see where I'm circling here in the bottom, just to the left of, to the right of center. The default is just to so, show five items per page. So I like to see everything that is available on a page. So I'm going to click and uh, select the largest number that it'll let me see. 
And now I can see everything that's in resources. So to me, that makes a lot more sense. Um, so everything in uh, the resources folder is um, categorized by alphabetical order. So once you know what you're looking for, it's an easy way to find it, but you might not be sure. You might know what you're looking for, but not know what it's called. So this is a very helpful resource right here that you want. It's the index. See where I am right here? The very top index. GFWC resources index. We can see that this was, uh, this was updated in April. So you know that you've got the latest one. Shows when it was updated. It shows the size. And last updated by, this is Carrie de Guzman. She's Director of Communications. She's GFWC staff at headquarters in D.C. And she's Director of Communications. So she uploads everything and she does a great job of putting a date on it. So you know whether or not you have the latest one. So when you click on any of these resources, they're going to download to your computer. See here on the left, mine downloaded uh, to the left corner of the computer, of my computer. So I'm going to open it now. Okay, I'm going to pop back in, make sure we're still good. All right, so make sure everybody's still good here. Okay, so this is the resources index. It's three pages. I highly recommend that you download it and print it because this is your index. This is your table of contents for all of the resources that are available in the digital library. I find it really, really helpful. If you, like I said, if you think you know what you're looking for, but you're not sure what it's called, it's way easier to look at a three page document to try to figure out what it is than to click on all the letters to try to figure out what's in there. So for example, the club manual, we see the club manual is gonna be under C. Got a lot of membership information in M. Leadership Toolkit, which I'll talk about in a minute, is all under L. Juniorettes under J. You got resolutions. You have the, um, oh, I think there's a typo there. Standing rules, strategic plan. If you're just not sure what something might be called, it's way easier to look at this index and see. Top 10 projects for 2019 are in T. I'm really looking forward to uh, that being updated to the top 10 projects of 2020. Um, that will be available after our convention in the end of August when all the um, awards have been given. Because in leadership, we got some fantastic award entries and I'm so excited to, sh to share the top 10 projects with everybody. But that will all be updated um, after convention. So this index is just really helpful to, you know, new club form, press releases, um, lots of information. It'll help, just help you kind of figure out what something's called and where to find it once you get into, uh, into that resources folder. So that's the index. Download it, print it, love it, sleep with it under your pillow. Um, okay, so now we're back to the resources index. All right, see this line here? So here's the index. We were looking at a list, remember? So where did the list go? If I'm only looking at index, we wanna go back up one level. Think about it um, as an outline with different, different levels. So go back to resources, and now we go back to the whole list again. And so now we know that, for example, we talked about the club manual is in C. So everything that was listed there in the index, there's the club manual. So entire club manual, all the different forms you need. Here's all the information about special programs and CSPs. Uh, the advancement plans is where you would find leadership information, communications and public, re public relations, membership, legislation, public policy, fundraising, and WHRC. So those are considered advancement plans. And again, I want to go back. So I'm in here. Now I'm going to go back one level and I'm back to the club manual. So there's all your information there. You're going to go back to C and you'll see everything that's in C. And then I'm going to go back to resources and I can always go back to my index here and then all the different letters. So hopefully that's a, that makes a little bit more sense. And, and again, it's really important to go down here and select that you want to see as many things as possible. Because if you just see five, like this, then you'll have to go page by page. So just when you get in there, just select the largest and then you'll be able to see everything. Okay, so obviously I'm leadership chairman. I'm very excited about the leadership toolkit. 
We know from the resources index that everything leadership is in L. So I'm going to click on L here in resources. There's letterhead, legislative action center, legislation, letter to new members, general and a fillable one. So there's other things in L, but here is the leadership toolkit. So you're seeing this a list again, and hopefully that makes a little bit more sense now that we've gone through how things are organized. So in the leadership toolkit, it's the same thing. Just like we had the resources index, we have the leadership toolkit overview as a PDF. We have the entire toolkit in one download if you want to download the whole thing. And then you've got everything in these three sections. And the reason these are numbered is so that the entire toolkit stays um, up at the top. If it was alpha, if they weren't numbered, it would be alphabetized and club district would be top, would be the first. So overview, just like the index, the overview is going to help you, um, help you see exactly what's in the toolkit. So again, I downloaded that and this is two pages, easy peasy. So again, I uh, recommend that you download it and print it and then you'll, then it, it's a list for you of everything that's in the toolkit. All right. Check back. Everybody good? All right, looks like Karen's handling questions. Great. Because I'm sharing my screen with you, I um, I can only see right now the screen that you're looking at. So that's why I'm checking in. That's why it's good to have friends helping you when you're going live and doing StreamYard and Facebook Live so that other people can be taking, uh, taking a look at the comments and assisting. Okay, so back to the Leadership Toolkit. This is a two-page printout. Uh, it, it, it's updated when new items are added to the toolkit. We've talked about the toolkit on the forum before, but the um, the overview is great to share with your uh, with everyone in your club, with your district, with your state federation. It explains what the toolkit is. It's a resource that was uh, the brainchild of the uh, GFWC Strategic Planning Committee in 2019 as a way to uh, give everybody a lot of resources. This is available to every single club woman to have all the resources that you need. Um, to grow in leadership development. Um, topics were requested by the current, by the incoming board of directors. A lot of people have contributed to it and we're gonna continue adding to it. So there's three sections to the toolkit. The first one is leadership development is personal development. That's really uh, important to me. I think um, GFWC offers us opportunities for wonderful relationships and friendships, um, op opportunities for meaningful service. Obviously a lot of us join first to be able to do uh, meaningful service in our communities. Um, but just as important is the opportunity for personal development and leadership development. We are a organization over 70,000 strong, um, almost entirely women, and we're here to encourage each other and help each other grow um, in leadership positions and just in personal development. So this first section about personal development has got information about presentation skills, um, effective time management, understanding body language cues. Our honorary chairman, Kristen Martinez, has um, given us some great information about empowered well-being. Basically, um, you know, the more responsibilities you take on, you've got to take care of you in order to take care of other people. And we've certainly learned that um, this last year in such a challenging situation. There's also uh, four different kind of fun personality and strengths um, surveys that you can do on your own. You, they're fun to do as icebreakers with your club or district or at a state meeting. And then there's a great um, sheet of accessing personal development resources. So it's a suggested reading list, websites, TED Talks, a lot of information. And if you sign up for the leadership newsletter, we um, we talk about uh, talk about those resources in each newsletter. And we're reading a book every two months as well. So that's the first section. Second section is leadership development of members. So that's a lot of information about, you know, creating a culture where people are going to want to try new things and step into leadership, um, giving constructive feedback and receiving constructive feedback, conflict resolution, taking a look at your club and figuring out together what's working and what isn't working and how can we prune. That's a, that is a, um, you see by the asterisk here, that's a new, uh, resource. So it's denoted by the fact that there's an asterisk. What what in your club mean, needs pruning to help your club um, grow stronger? And then 
creating a plan of succession. There's a fantastic uh, checklist for leadership transition. If uh, the outgoing officer can sit down with the incoming officer and go over the checklist to make sure that the incoming officer feels uh, comfortable and feels like uh, she has everything she needs to step into that position. And boy, doesn't that make a big difference? Somebody being willing to do that. So that's leadership development of members. And then the third section is the largest right now. This is club, district, and state leader resources. And that means every single club woman can find something in this list because we are all leaders in our club, if not our district or our state yet. So this is a lot of information. And the idea is to really level the playing field for every single club in our federation. Whether you come from a small state federation, a large state federation, maybe your state um, uh, has a lot of great leadership training going on. Maybe your state is trying to work on getting that going. But there's a lot of information. It's operational. It's about how to run a club smoothly so that you can focus on building relationships and focus on doing those great projects. And um, a lot of these things uh, are really easy. So an, an agenda, um, communication tools, bylaws, there's a um, parliamentary procedure. There's a fun um, kind of a script that you can teach parliamentary procedure in a workshop. Cyber club bylaws, um, sample GFWC bylaws, club budgets, lot, lots of information like that that um, help everybody know kind of the nuts and bolts of running a club smoothly. It's not all just leadership, though. There's great information on membership. There's uh, benefits of GFWC membership. There's a great resource about starting a new GFWC club. If you're starting a cyber club, there are new bylaws for that. Then there's also a great resource <clears throat> that... Um, Jen Nowak from the membership committee went through with us on the forum. So you can go back and look for that video. It's a new member orientation PowerPoint. GFWC Florida developed it and shared it with the GFWC uh, National Membership Committee. And then they revised it to make it um, kind of generic so that any club, any district, any state can customize it for you. And you don't have to reinvent a new member um, orientation. So that's in there. There's also a lot of great information about uh, communications, um, social media, that, that kind of thing, legislative involvement. Uh, the idea with the toolkit is that you're going to use the materials um, as they are. And what's great about that is that you're able to, if you're, if you're doing it as a handout for your club, for example, you're able to show your club members this is something that is a men benefit of membership. It's so important that our GFWC clubs um, are GFWC affiliates. And this is, you're able to show them this is part of what you're getting for your dues is all of these fantastic resources um, that are available to you as a GFWC member. So the toolkit is an example of that. Everything in the resources are all benefits of membership. And that's why it's so important to have a login on the, um, on the member portal so you can get to all of this. So now that I've shown you the overview, this page should make a lot more sense. So here's the entire end toolkit in one download. Here's the overview of the toolkit. And then here's the three sections. So for example, in the first one, leadership development is personal development. Here's the personality tests that we talked about. Here's the personal development list, for example. See, so books, websites, TED Talks, pod podcasts. So just some great suggested resources. So again, if you're kind of lost when you get in here, go all the way up to the top, see where you are, and just go backwards, just like an outline. So here's the toolkit. We're going to go back one more level, and there's everything that's an L. We're going to go back one more level to show your letters. And again, remember, you can get into this index, download that, look at that. And it's going to show you where to find what you're looking for. And then all of that is in the resources folder in the digital library. And remember when we got into the member portal, the digital library was under your head. So you want to upload your photo so that you've got access to your digital library. So again, events. Events are where you're going to go to register for convention. Marketplace is where you're going to go to buy anything from Marketplace. And then you're going to click under your profile. It's either going to be this sad little gray head outline, or you can upload a fun photo. And my digital library is where you're going to find everything you need. Again, it's in resources. There's the index. 
because I went out of it and went back in, it's gone small again. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to click 50 and then I can see the whole thing. So again, club manuals in C, anything you need. All the leadership toolkit is in L. So have fun exploring what's in there. All right, any questions? And see, this is what we've got. This is this is the, the back end here. All right, so it looks like like Karen has gotten some questions answered. We're going to save this so that anybody can go back and see it and um, find your tour, find your way around the member portal. There's so much great information uh, in there. GFWC is going to continue to offer webinars and other great resources for members. And those will all um, be things that you would access through the member portal. So encourage, uh, encourage your club members in your state, in your district, every one of your club members to get on the GFWC portal, create a login. If you have any problems when you're creating the login, or if you're uh, just trying to get set up to be able to go in and out and use it, contact GFWC staff. They do a fantastic job. The email is gfwc at gfwc.com. Is that right, Karen? Type it in for me if I did it wrong, if I, if I got that wrong. Um, Tiana might be who you talk to. You might talk to Carrie or Taylor. Um, and they'll take good care of you and help you get in um, if you're having a problem with the login. Um, I do suggest that you uh, try to save your login. So um, it's, e it's easier. As you saw, I just opened my Chrome and it was in there and I've done the same thing on my phone. Um, so Karen is posting the link to Stream StreamYard again. Um, Karen, would you type in that email address for the um, headquarters um, so people can get uh, their questions answered if they need to. So Karen has also posted about the link for StreamYard. So go back in the forum and see uh, Karen and Becky and I did uh, a Facebook Live using StreamYard several weeks ago. Uh, we got kind of goofy. It took way longer than it needed to. Yes, Becky, Tiana Robles is the is one of the staff members that's going to help you. Uh, but it shows all the different things that you can do with StreamYard. So um I'm on, like I said, we chose StreamYard for this event because it, uh, it allows you to share your screen pretty easily in, um, in a live event. So I hope that, uh, answers your questions. I'm going to, um, end the broadcast, but it will save this onto the forum. And if you come back later and watch it and comment, we'll see that you've commented on it and we'll continue to answer questions for everybody. So, uh, thanks for joining us tonight and let us know how we can continue to help you. Bye bye.